so hello guys welcome to the tech rocks youtube channel this is the third video of our series in this we will see how to configure the adts role on our server adts stands for active directory domain services so the first thing we have to do is we have to change the our name of your computer the system we have to change this to um, Okay. Okay. So just click on OK. Okay. So we have to start it. I will do it later. So the th second thing we have to do is we have to give our server static IP. Right now it is getting IP from our DSCP. So we have to change this. Just disable the TCP IPv4. We don't need it. And select IPv4. And select any static IP. Uh, for example, So I will give this IP to this server and I don't need default gateway. So DNS server, preferred DNS server, I will also use this particular IP address also for the DNS server. And click on OK. OK. Now disable your network adapter once and re-enable it now just reboot your system once So after reboot, our computer name is changed and our IP is also changed. So now, uh, before installing the role, ADS role, let's talk about the domain services role. So what is Active Directory Domain Services ADDS? So a directory service like Active Directory Domain Services stores and shares directory data which network users with network users and administrators. It stores details about the user accounts like names, passwords, phone numbers, etc., which can be accessed by authorized users on the network. Active Directory simplifies the process of finding and using information about objects on the network for both admins and users. So with Active Directory domain services, we can uh, share the data between uh, different users. We can give permissions to the users. And we can also uh, see the which user is connected or not. Everything we can do with the ADDS. So let's install it. What you have to do is just go and manage, add roles and features, and here. There is some tasks before continue. We have already did it. Next. Here we will choose role based and feature based installation. So remote desktop services installation is like with this uh, installation. It will change our this server to remote desktop server. So it will install remote RDS services on our this server. So what we can do with RDS. We can uh, make this server as a remote desktop server and we can share our applications and publish them. We have to access some applications from this server. So what we can do is uh, after installing this 
we will get a url i will make a dedicated video on remote desktop services i will install this server later but now we will use this role based installation and next this is our server next here we will choose uh, the adds role next make it default yes next and here register the des destination server if needed install Now the installation is completed. Close. And here a yellow flag appears. Promote this server to a domain controller. Click on it. And here we have to add a domain. If we have an uh, existing PC, we can also join it with it with that also but we will create a new now here any name like techrocks.com for next now here the functional level is i will show you so what are functional levels functional levels determine the available ADDS domain or forest capabilities they also determine which windows server os you can run on domain controllers in a domain or forest so i will explain you this in with, with an example so here is an example suppose you are setting up an forest for an organization and there uh, all, there is already an windows server 2008 uh, a print server available in that organization and that is running on the windows server 2008 so what you have to do is you have to uh, set the forest functional level to the lowest uh, windows server which is which is available on your forest for example you have to set the window uh, forest function level to 2008 and after that this print server will be able to communicate with your forest in this example also suppose there are you are working with the windows server 2012 and there is an already an uh, dc available with the windows server 2008 so you have to set the forest functional level to the windows server 2008 with this that server will be able to communicate with your forest so we have to choose the latest one just select the latest one which is available here and globe global catalog not this global catalog is so what is global catalog global catalog is a search index the global catalog allows users and applications to find objects in an active directory domain tree given one or more attributes of the target object for example suppose you are a member of this do, uh, child domain and you want to find uh, you want to search some objects from some other domain like this child domain so you, you are not able to search objects from the other domain because the global catalog is not configured in this domain so global catalog is a search index which will help you to search objects within the other uh, from the other domains or within a forest and the first dc we will configure in our domain become the global catalog by default so after we will configure the global catalog in this domain for example so after that we will able to find the objects from other domain also I will make uh, another video with detailed information about the global catalog. So stay tuned. So read only domain controller. We can also make this server as a RODC. 
so here directory services restore mode we have to make some password it is for uh, backup purpose uh, just type a password here and next 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 so there are default folders for the database log files in sysvol next now here Now here is a PowerShell script option. We can also copy this script for the future if we want to uh, install any server with the same configuration, with same options what, what we have selected here. So we can just copy this file and we can run this PowerShell script anywhere any, on any other server for installing the same uh, features. Next, now all the pre requests are checked past. Now click on install. It's installing the ADDS role. Now just re reboot it. Now enter the password. Now here our ADDS role installed successfully. Here are some tools comes up with the ADDS. Now users and computers. Here we can see number of users and computers connected to our network. Right now there are not any computers and these are the pre-default users. So we will cover all the tools in our upcoming videos. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest videos and stay tuned.